definition of love. Accepting a person for who they are, flaws and all, and still loving them. When you put others, you know, their happiness before your own. Um, love is, is being there for somebody um, when they need you through the good times and the bad. Um, love is probably the most powerful emotion there is. So, so many definitions of love. Um, I think the strongest love I know is, is, you know, from God. God is love and, you know, we all aspire to, to love like Him. So. Um, A special connection between two significant people that like nobody can break you know it's like you love somebody unconditionally you know or even the love for Jesus you love him no matter what like it's it's there nobody's breaking that nobody's gonna lower it make it greater but you yourself like it grows within and I think love is something once it's there it never leaves love is undefinable it's a feeling you get when you're warm and safe and protect it, and for a second, everything is good in the world. I think love isn't just a feeling, and I think a lot of people think that love is just a feeling that you have, but I think love is commitment, love is faithfulness through the hard times and the bad times. Even when you wake up and you don't feel like you love that person anymore, I don't know if you can just say that, but you know, it's not just a feeling. It's actions, it's commitment, it's walking through the good and the bad every day. Love is caring about someone unconditionally. My <laughs> definition of love is someone who shares your values and your ideals and is there with you all the time, no matter what happens, through the good times and through the bad times. Even if you accidentally spend money on things you shouldn't or, or stuff like that. Someone who's there to carry you when you fall and to just be your life partner. Love is when, like, in a relationship way, two people have a lot in common. When it's kind of like no one can take their place, you know? Like, no one has, can fill that feeling you have for one person. It's just them and how much they love you, I guess. When you realize that no one has that touch that the other person has, you know what I mean? Like, when you are fully comfortable around someone, even, like, the smallest things, like, if you're able to, like, piss gas in front of someone that you're comfortable with, I guess. That's that's love right there. I think I think it just happens, you know. I guess it's it's different for everyone. Some people are you know, they fall in love instantly, love at first sight, which you know sounds like a fairy tale, but um I, I you know, I believe that happens. Um you know, you can fall in love, you know, just being around somebody <clears throat> Um, getting to know them that way. Um, I, I don't think I've ever really fallen in love with anyone, so um, this maybe <laughs> isn't um, really up my alley, but I, I believe you know, it, it does happen for everyone. It takes time. Uh, it happens on you know, God's time, I guess. And, um, but you know, I guess it's, it's just different for everyone. Someone falls in love. Sometimes it's instantly, like when I saw my nephew for the first time. I knew the first time I heard of him, I loved him. But sometimes it's gradual, like my friends. That was an instant love. Some of them I didn't even like at first. That was just Another person that truly cares about who they are for who they are. And not their outside appearance to the world. I don't know and I don't care. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I don't care. Um, I guess it's a gradual thing. 
I'm not exactly sure how you fall in love. Um, kind of like I guess you stumble upon it. Well, in the material world, it's uh, it's what you first see. You know what you know what you know the person's features, and then later it's well, you know what what type of uh, what they like, what they don't like, and that um, that helps you know that further develops and eventually you keep digging and digging and then um, you know hopefully the person you're spending with is somebody who has the same the same um, what do you call interest. it interest interest well I think I'm thinking of with you know with God you know you want to have the you both want to have a commitment with God you know and hopefully that's that's a two-way street with both people and not just one although it's very difficult if, uh, if it's just the one I think um, I think you're a lot of times people say that you're attracted to what the person looks like. I don't think that's always the case right away. I think maybe you're attracted to their personality, like opposites attract sometimes. You know, like I'm loud and Nick's quiet. You know, um, and and you just find that that person really compliments you. Love has to start as a friendship because I think it's a mutual thing that. You respect each other, and it just kind of keeps escalating to the next level, and you start finding things that you are compatible with, and that you eventually get to the point where you don't think you can live without it because that person and you have similar interests. I guess that's how you fall in love. I'm not there yet, so I'm not sure. <laughs>
you know, unconditionally, you know, yeah, like we're loved. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of things go into a successful relationship and.